Earlier this week, two wanted men led police on a car chase from Waynesboro to Albemarle County. There were five little kids with them. Now for the first time, we're learning just how frightening and dangerous that ride was for the children. NBC 29's Molly Bockenbush sat down with one of the boys and the children's mom this afternoon. Good evening, Molly. Steve, Mary Barber, the mom of the five children, says this situation is any parent's worst nightmare. Her five little boys helplessly taken on a high-speed police chase. And now police are calling one of those boys a hero. Scary. And mm, a little worried. Chavis Barber says he was terrified Wednesday when he and his four brothers were trapped in a vehicle during a high-speed police chase. Police say none of the children were wearing seatbelts and the car reached speeds of more than 80 miles per hour. Barber grabbed onto his one-year-old little brother who was inside a carrier and held the carrier securely to the seat, an act police are calling heroic. He had the presence of mind to look after the most helpless of, of the victims, his one-year-old brother. Sergeant Edwards says officers came to tears when Barber told them his story. I grabbed the car seat like this and I put it over top of me. And you held him in there? Mm -hmm, tight. Barber held his little brother the entire ride, from where the pursuit started along South Delphine Avenue near I-64 and ended in Albemarle County. When he couldn't get the seatbelt to work, he grabbed his little brother and the two lied on the floor to avoid being tossed around. Mary Barber says she's grateful her children are alive. He was so scared that they thought the truck was going to flip over. An act police call heroic was simply second nature for Barber, a boy who always looks out for his little brothers. He's my little brother and I like playing with him. And I normally spoil him, so probably that's why. Sergeant Brian Edwards says the Waynesboro Police Department is looking for a way to honor the brave young man. Molly Balkenbush, live in our Augusta County newsroom tonight. Thank you, Molly.